Hey everybody, welcome back to another video from your girl, Solange, your all things CC. And today is Saturday and it's a chilly Saturday. So guess what I'm going to be making? Chili and cornbread. So stick to them and you know, come cook with your girl. <laughs> Okay, you guys, so I am getting ready to prep everything. So this is what I'm going to make with my chili. Of course, I got to have the ground chuck beef. I haven't decided if I want to use chicken broth or beef broth, so I got both of them out. You got to have tomato paste. You got to have diced tomatoes. You got to have your kidney beans. You got to have your black beans, um, chili powder, cayenne pepper, garlic powder, oregano leaves, black pepper, kosher salt, minced garlic if you want. Um, that's another chili pepper, onion powder, olive oil. I'm going to be sauteing my onions and my um, bell peppers in olive oil. And then I'm gonna top everything off with some Kobe Jack shredded cheese, some green onions, and some sour cream. And of course, you guys, so my favorite that you guys have seen me make numerous of times is my deep dish buttery honey cornbread. And this is what I have for that. So go ahead, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, you guys, so I'm just going to get right on into it. I am putting olive oil in my pan or pot. I already had the pot um, on low heat. Now I'm adding my chopped onions. I didn't have time to chop them up today, so I went and bought some, okay? And then I'm gonna just saute this in the olive oil until they is caramelized and they are broken down into a nice pretty brown color. Y'all, today is a nice day. It's cold, but it's a nice day. So yeah, this is the perfect opportunity for me to go ahead and make some chili. So I'm going to continue to, you know, stir this, saute this until it gets that golden brown that I want. As you can see here, and then I'm going to add my next ingredient, which will be my chopped up bell peppers. It's been so long since I actually made some chili. So yeah, y'all guess what? My minced garlic poured so much into this. I just really hope it don't taste like garlic for real, for real. But I put garlic in, garlic, uh, minced garlic, black pepper, some coarse um, sea salt. Um, I put some onion powder in, I put some oregano in, I put some, um, red pepper flakes in uh what else did I put in here yeah so that was about it for all the seasoning so now I'm just mixing everything up and finish letting the um, peppers and onions saute so that they can get all the seasoning and all the good flavor in there and then next what I'm putting in here is a little bit of chili powder and a little bit of cayenne pepper Okay, now that all that's done, now it's time to put the ground beef in and I'm grinding it up into the sauteed vegetables. So that too can get all the good flavor and seasoning from the olive oil and everything like that. This is about to be so good, but one thing about chili is you don't realize it's gonna be too much until you actually get everything in the pot. So now that all my ground beef has been um, turned into brown has been fully cooked the next thing that i'm going to add to this will be my black beans my kidney beans um one to two um tablespoons of tomato paste and some diced tomatoes Thank you. 
I started to get some um, Idaho potatoes and I was going to um, um, double bake the potatoes and add the chili on top of the potato. That would have been so good because it would have been something different from the cornbread. But my guy friend said he wanted me to make my cornbread again. So I'm making my cornbread again for him. So now I'm just mixing everything together. It's all coming together. It smells really, really good too. And please make sure that you taste as you go. Cause for me, I like my chili to be a little bit on the spicy side. So just make sure that you taste as you go. Okay, so since I couldn't really decide which broth that I was gonna use, I did half beef and I did half chicken broth. So there you have it. I have both of them mixed inside. So it's gonna give it a nice flavor, I think it will be. It's not gonna hurt it at all if you mix it. I actually put um, a lot more chili powder in. I put a little bit of paprika in there and I put a little bit more um, cayenne pepper but for sure I added more chili powder than any other powder or seasoning that I have in here because I wanted to have that look and I definitely wanted to have that taste Look at all those colors blending perfectly together, you guys. It's gonna taste so, so good. So what I'm gonna do now is turn my um, fire down to a uh, uh, low so it can simmer like it's in a crock pot. And I'm just gonna let that cook until I get ready to make my cornbread later. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, you guys, so it's time to make this cornbread. It is literally like 6.30 in the afternoon right now. So you guys know I like to put my butter in my pan and then put my pan in the oven and let the butter melt until it start bubbling and boiling and until it get really, really hot. So now I'm using the vegetarian Jiffy Mix. I always use two boxes when I wanna do a deep dish cornbread. And um, I use two eggs, one per box. I put my vanilla extract in there. I put my cinnamon in there, ground cinnamon, or you can use cinnamon sugar. Um, if you don't have cinnamon sugar, you, just, you can add the cinnamon and just add some brown sugar, which is what I did here. And, um, add your buttermilk and you are on your way and you go ahead and just mix that on up until it's time to put it in the oven.
Okay, you guys, so I am back. Um, I am done. I'm about to get ready to take some food to my mom. Sorry, I did not taste test like I normally do, but I was hungry. I ate it, and I think it was delicious. And, yeah, so I'm going to close up this video. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Leave your comments down in the comment section. And, um, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.